Um, so obviously the issue with uh, clearing a fungal infection is that the nail becomes too wide. And what I feel like is there's a bit of ingrown toenail. So what I'm gonna do is just put this underneath and you can see how curved this is. So I'm just gonna cut this back and I release that one, two, three. I'm sorry, one, two, three, all done. I'm just gonna clean this down the side, bear with me. the bit that's digging into the skin and I'm gonna probably put that into the sample question is all this other stuff in there I'm so sorry. So there's lots of dry skin. And Again, just going to remove that dead tissue and just be very, very gentle. Don't like, you know, go hacking at it like there's no tomorrow. That's not good for the patient or yourself. Get there. I think that's just where it was cutting in. I see something in there, so we need to grab that out. This is the most tedious part, I find. And also, this is the part where it might bleed. Have any scoopy blade, please. Mm -hmm. When things don't come out with the nippers, because nippers should be quite easy, we we'll just use a, a scoopy blade and just scoop it out. So that's where the cut was from the ingrown toenail, but it's all out now. Okay, Doki, I'm just going to squeeze that. Does that feel better? 
Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. The nail's yeah. out. So what we need to do is, we need to start taking the toe back. So your nail is very, very curved. Um, really, really curved. Downwards. So I'm worried that this is going to be a reoccurring issue. So just going to draw like that. Sometimes the creams can... I think that's why, what it might be. Mm. The cream keeps on going inside. What you want to do is just tape the um, tape this toe back. Have you done this before? No. Let's hope it stays because you're a bit sweaty. So hold it like this. Tape it onto your side and just tape it really, really thorough and just pull it. Okay, see there? There's a gap. Yep. Yeah. And that creates a gap. So when the nail grows out, hopefully it won't dig in. Okay. Or else it's just going to be a reoccurring problem again and then again and again. And I want you to do it in the middle of the night. So when you sleep, it doesn't come off. If it does come off, then you just you know, put, one, put one on. Now you can see it's slightly red and swollen. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's like borderline almost infected, but I don't think it's in, uh, infected, infected. So I'm going to put an iodine dressing on and a, 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 a meat pour. And then you just need to, hopefully as the nail is out, uh, you just need to um, change the dressing, leave the dress on for 24 hours, then change the dressing every single day okay. uh, until it heals. <laughs> and then you're looking for your signs of infection, redness, swelling, pus, um, all that kind of stuff. If it gets worse, you know, this redness here, yeah. if it moves upwards or there's more pus or anything like that, uh, or it feels really, really hot or you feel feverish, then give me a call, I can give you some antibiotics or um, you just go to your local GP. Because it's Christmas, it might work close on certain days. But yeah, give me an email because you know I'm quite responsive yeah. on email and stuff like that. Okay, uh, it, it's uh, 